We often say that our eyes are a window to our soul. Let me go one step further and say that our eyes are a window to our body and our health. Our eyes and in particular our retina is the only place in the human body where without any surgery we can see the tiniest of blood vessels and therefore our retina can yield a lot of information about vascular diseases such as diabetes, hypertension, hypercholesterolemia and many more. Hello friends, I am Dr. Bhavin Shah. I am a Vitrio Retina and UVA Specialist at Dr. Eye Institute. Welcome to our channel iLogs, which has everything to do with vision and eye care. If you haven't subscribed to our channels, make sure to do so. Also remember to click the bell icon so that you get a notification every time we post a new video on our channel. Friends, in today's episode, I am going to discuss about two important parts of the human eye, the retina and the vitreous. For the ease of understanding, let us divide the human eye into two parts, the front part and the back part. The front part of our eye houses the cornea or the transparent outer coat, the iris or the muscular layer which gives our eyes its color and the crystalline lens which is clear and transparent at birth but becomes cloudy and cataractous in old age. On the other hand, the back part of the eye contains a transparent gel called the vitreous, the light sensitive layer called the retina, the white colored toughened external coat of the eye called the sclera and sandwiched between the sclera and the retina is a highly vascular layer called the choroid. Friends, in this episode, I am going to discuss about the vitreous and the retina. The vitreous is a transparent, colorless, gel-like substance that houses the space between the crystalline lens and the retina. It is composed mainly of water, but also a small percentage of electrolytes, sugars, proteins and collagen. The vitreous humor occupies nearly 80-90% to 90 of our eye. The main function of the vitreous is to maintain the round or the spherical shape of our eyeball. In addition, it also supports the retina and acts as a shock absorber during a sudden thump or a blunt trauma to our eyes. The retina is a light sensitive layer which forms the inner lining of the back part of the eye. Did you know that the retina is only slightly thicker than a single strand of human hair? and it is composed of 10 distinct layers. It measures about 0.2 to 0.3 millimeters in thickness. The retina in the human eye functions similar to a film or an image sensor in the camera in the sense that external rays of light coming from an external object are focused onto the retina and they create an inverted image of the object on the retina. These light rays in turn trigger a series of chemical reactions in the retinal cell generating electrical impulses which are then carried from the retina to the visual cortex of the human brain via the optic nerve or the nerve of the eye. The light sensitive cells in the retina are of two types, the rods which help in nighttime vision and the cones which help in daytime vision, color vision and fine vision. The human retina has nearly 120 million rods and 6 million cones. The central part of the human retina which has the best visual potential is called as the macula. Needless to say, diseases of the retina have a profound impact on our vision. Right from diabetic retinopathy to age related macular degeneration, blockages of the retinal blood vessels, macular holes, retinal detachments, diseases of the rods and the cones. All the retinal disorders have a mild to severe impact on our vision and if not treated in time, this can become permanent and irreversible. However, the last two decades have been very exciting for the field of retina with a lot of advances in the imaging techniques as well as treatment modalities that are available for managing retinal problems. Dear friends, 
This brings us to the end of today's episode. Today, we discussed about two very important parts of the human eye, namely the retina and the vitreous. Stay tuned to our channel for more such informative videos and please do not forget to spread the word with family and friends. Stay safe and take care of your eyes.